Hi, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm fine. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. So tell me, what attracted you to the role? What attracted me to the role? The character. I was so blessed. It's every actress's dream to get the character arc that I had in this movie. Um, you know, to go from British nurse to German translator to the next stage, which I don't really want to tell you because you haven't seen the movie. Um, and, and not to ruin it for everybody, but um, I got to be so much in this movie. And then as an actor, you know, you sit in somebody else's shoes, but to really sit in the shoes of this character was a dream. Now, how did you sort of uh, bring the character to life? Did you read anything, any historical documents about that time period? Did you sort of just uh, draw from within? I did a lot of internet research. That was, the internet is it's so easy, it's so fast, you can get so much information so quickly from the internet and I needed to get it quickly because as I was saying, I signed my contract for this job on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day. I met with the director, uh, the director and the dialect coach and I had to learn German. I had seven of my scenes speaking German, which I had to learn verbatim, not only understanding what my, my, my co-star was saying, Werner Dane, to me, but understanding what I was saying to him and what was going on in the scene and obviously learning the lines. So it was a big, big challenge for me and then I went on set on New Year's Day. So I had, you know, I don't know, a week, five days, something like that, to really, to really get that role and really get that German, which for me was the number one thing, was that Eleanor spoke German and she was the translator. So I had to get that down. And for me, that was right there <laughs> since I signed that contract that I had to do it and I had to get on set and prove it that I could do it. And so for me, that, that was an amazing challenge and I'm so happy and I'm so proud. That is so cool. Now, do you speak any other We'd like to thank you all for coming to see the screen. Please make your way upstairs to Bardo to celebrate with the cast and crew. We'll do that again. <laughs> do you speak any other languages already, or was it the first time learning uh, a foreign language? Do I speak any other languages? Well, actually, I happen to have family in Berlin. My mum's um, sister is in Berlin, my auntie and my cousins. But I learned German at school, but... I mean, that's it. I, that's all I knew. <laughs> and I didn't remember any of it. So coming on set, it was learning it all over again. So, yeah. What was it like filming in the desert? I mean, it was hot as heck, I said. It was, and it was cold too. It was hot, yeah. it was cold, yeah. it was windy, there were sandstorms. Did we have any rain? I don't know, maybe that was one thing we didn't have. We didn't have sleet or snow or rain, but we definitely had compromising weather conditions. And um, you know, you, you're out there and you're in those conditions and you've, you've got to be on your game. What was the most difficult thing about filming on location? the weather <laughs> the most difficult thing about filming on location was the weather but you know it's the conditions and it's not knowing what's going to happen next and for the crew especially you know like my hats off to the crew they worked so hard they they slept in the trailers they hardly ever went back to the hotel these guys were just so dedicated literally 24 7 on set we shot for i don't know 25 days or something and it was it was a short shoot it's amazing what we got and what we accomplished with this movie and i have to tell you i'm 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 very proud of it. What was it, that, what was it like working with Chris on the set? He's been, you know, a working actor for a long time, and a lot of people aren't able to uh, get that longevity. <laughs> Were you able to pick up any like clues? As an actress working in America, working with Chris Klein was amazing. I mean, you can tell as soon as he came onto set, he loves what he does. He's passionate, and. We have that in common. We both love what we do. And, um, you know, when you have that drive, you have that enthusiasm, you have that passion, that shows, you know, you don't have to fake it. And if anyone is that passionate about their career, then they're going to keep going and they're going to keep doing movie after movie. And this is only going to be much more for Chris and, and for both of us. And, and we're both very excited about what's to come next. Now, working um, on this historical drama, have you ever worked on anything like this before? And is it a big departure from your sweet spot of movies that you're normally, you know, attracted to when you're looking at scripts? My sweet spot of movies and um, am I used to doing these kind of projects? Well, I started out in musical theatre and um, musical theatre is the most incredible discipline. I trained for three years in London. I had the best training. I went straight into the West End um, and you only get one take. On stage, you get one take. 
On set, it's a luxury. It's a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful luxury. You can play, you can do something different, you can look a different way, you can, you can watch playback, you can see how you look, you know. I mean, it's, it's so different, and, but it's, it's such a test in other ways because you have to make it small and it's not big it's not like talking to the gods like you do on stage and that's how I was trained and I had to change it I had to completely change my method of acting and the way that I act so you know I mean it's, it's a big big learning curve and um, I'm just honored I get these opportunities so honored to have this character to have this movie it's it's incredible for me yeah I'm, I'm very very happy the one thing that you've taken away from working on this project that you'll be using uh, for future roles or if you go back to doing musicals which I'm sure is your first love? It is my first love, yeah. Musicals are my first love. The one thing I take away from this project is um, resilience. It taught me resilience and it taught me set discipline. It taught me don't even worry about what's going on. There was so much going on on set the weather, the crew, this is breaking, the, the World War I planes, the this is happening, that is happening. You just stay focused on your job and what it is that you're there to do, your character. Don't listen to that, what's going on, that noise. Just stay in where, and focused on your character of who you are and just go on set and do your thing. And it taught me that. Because, you know, if anyone can get through doing a low budget movie, you know, it, it, you're set for life. You know, I've come from Saving Mr. Banks, Transformers. I've been on big, big budget movies and I see how it works. It's easy. It's so much easier, you know. But then you do something like this and it's amazing. It's teamwork. It's teamwork. And you, you just have to get through it. There's no other way. We're making this movie. This is happening. So, yeah, it's, um, well, it's an incredible experience. It sounds like an exciting film. I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you very much.